Hello everyone, welcome back to another high level match of Starcraft 2. What I got for you today, it's a Zerg versus Protoss, the best of four, and we find ourselves on the map, Moon Dance. Spawning here, in the top left hand corner, we have none other than Dark from Korea. And his opponent, in the opposite corner, with the blue Protoss, is Astrea from United States of America. We had the first intense match, now it's time for the second one. So far started opening, we have uh, here the primary base for Astrea. And let's see what Dark is going to do. Dark was a bully in the previous game. I hope it is going to happen again. It's not like I support bullying, but it's awesome to see it in a professional StarCraft 2 match. As usual, I'm going to see the match for the first time together with you. My name is Keanu and welcome to my channel. Standard opening with a pylon and a gateway for uh, the Protoss and for the Zerg we had another greedy hatchery. There is a pattern as you can see, Dark likes to put uh, his second base a little bit further away from uh, his primary. These are two of the best players, they were declared best players in 2020 for uh, its own specific race. Dark is also known as the last son of Boxer, the final boss and also the heart of the swarm. While Astrea is also known as Mad Max or the Guardian Angel. Astrea with the second the Nexus and standard opening with a Cybernetic Core. We have the Overlord that is coming to search, to spy. And this is how these players uh, maps looks like. Luckily for us, we have the whole picture. So the overall is like chilling in his opponent base, trying to scout exactly what is happening to see that there is no shenanigans. Standard opening and the second uh, overlord coming as well. While here we have the cheeky probe that already stole some minerals. Already we see a little bit of an advantage for Astrea in terms of uh, workers, but for Dark in terms of uh, units that can fight. The Zerlings also are in a mission to explore and get ready for action. These are two players that are well known for their aggressive styles that are going to make us smile. Awesome animation here. And now the gateway is going to accelerate. This is what you see here. It's uh, specific for the Protoss when you want to create a unit faster, in this case a Stalker. The Stalker is on the hunt of the Overlord. Overlords are very important because uh, they provide the supply. So if you manage to kill them, you are uh, making your opponent to spend an extra 100 minerals and maybe, who knows, supply block. But the overall is barely surviving with 43 health. This is a perfect place. Unless you have an air unit, you cannot uh, kill it. Now the stalker is ideally situated to create the wall off. Here we have another gateway and an adept. And while this is happening, dark is greedy as usual, having another hatchery with a queen. Queens are very important, they can uh, help uh, regenerate buildings, heal uh, allied units and also they have uh, the ability to spread uh, the creep. Creep is very important in terms of uh, uh, visibility on the map and also it accelerates uh, the third unit. More adepts, they can shade and now Adepts immediately spotted that where uh, Dark was trying uh, to morph them into Bailings, maybe for a Bailing bust. The Zerling search for a further base. Another great way, so a perfect wall in. A War Prism? Hmm, what Astrea has in mind? An Overseer, they are very good because you can actually see what your opponent is doing. That was just uh, a defensive method. 
to make your uh, opponent think that he has no chance. So Australia has a little bit of an advantage in terms of workers, 49 and also in terms of the army. These Zerlings are very aggressive on the map. And the War Prism is going to try to harass the mineral lines. So each one is attacking the other one. Is it going to succeed? Let's see. Already the queen is here. Perfect timing. Only one drone. Nah, nothing serious. The shading ability is extremely important. And while this is happening, in the main base, we also see an attack from Astrea in the second base. This bailing scan way to connect. And if they connect, yeah. <laughs> Excellent connection. But still, we have too many adepts here. But a new wave of uh, bailings are coming. And yeah, Dark cannot be killed that easily with only some adepts. More adepts are being morphed in. Trying to see what damage they can do. Not that much. We already have a spore core. Yeah, perfect defense. Astrea needs to regroup. But while this was happening, he acquired the third base. So, 3 versus 3 is a good uh, place if you are uh, Protoss. Here is the income. Astrea has an advantage in terms of gas, but uh, Protoss is known for uh, using, needing a lot of uh, gas for higher tier units. The spore core was moved to make sure to protect. This is army of the value, uh, the value of the army. So harassment from the beginning, good for you Astrea. But Dark don't ever, ever underestimate. He's not called the final boss for no reason. And he's active since uh, 2012. That means a lot of experience. And also he has like 1 million dollars out of playing this game. We see a Disruptor, very good. If the units are clumped together. This adepts are not achieving too much. But uh, keeping Dark in uh, his own part of the map, this is a success in itself. You saw what happened in the previous match. Dark was everywhere, literally bullying Astrea with Nidus Swarms. Excellent defense from Dark. And this space is almost secure. We have the photo cannon, probably a shield battery. Four kills on this adept. 10 on the other, not bad, not bad at all. And also the War Prism offer a lot of vision to Astrea, like giving him awareness of the map, what is happening. A photo cannon as well, two disruptors in front, the stalkers ready to intervene for their bodies. Now in terms of army, they are pretty equal. Astrea still has a uh, Norker advantage. A lot of palings, a lot of Zerklings, two Revengers were added to the army. The War Prism is coming home after a decent raid. And the Colossus, these are very good for splash damage. The more you have, but you need to have something like a buffer in between the Colossus and uh, the opponent's army. Astrea's army looks very good so far. Workers, if you see with red, 20 doesn't, uh, it's not a good thing. Because that means some of them are just uh, <laughs> too many. And now we see the Protoss advance. 
We have the stalkers in front. Two colossus behind. The war prism. So far so good for Astrea. And Astrea won with a decisive push. Very unexpected. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.